Hey, think you or your client's hair is too short for a sewing? Absolutely not. Watch how I transform my client from this crop cut to this soft, sexy, flowing pixie cut. Okay, so here's the closure that we'll be using. It's a little bit smaller than the regular 4x4. I like it a little bit smaller when I'm doing the pixie cut. And I do bleach the knots. Here's my mixture. She wanted more of a golden tone, not too much of a red hue. So I use this particular uh, mixture. And you want to have it pasty-like. And I believe I use 30 uh, developer. This is my client's hair. And while she doesn't suffer from alopecia, she does have thinning hair. And um, it's really, really thin around the hairline and very fine. So even though it kind of looks a little kinky, it is um, a very, very fine texture. So here I molded the back and the sides down with some gel. And I just put a wrap cap on her and I sent her under the dryer. And she came in with um, less hair on top than what you see here. In fact, all the black hair is what grew in. It was actually shorter than that. So right now I am sewing in the net. So I have the closure just kind of placed on top of my canvas head and I'm just sewing a net around it um, just to kind of be able to anchor her hair down once I braid it. And so I'm sewing it in a U shape. And you can literally just lay the net right across and then you can cut the U out. And I'll show you that I'm coming up. So that's what I did. And so since she doesn't have a whole lot of hair on the sides and the back, there was no need to use like a full wig cap. Okay, so right now I'm braiding her hair down and I'm adding a, a an anchor braid right across the front. And you'll be able to see it here in this picture. So I do two of those. And that just helps me secure that closure when I place the closure and the netting down. This is a full braiding pattern here. Nothing too intricate. Apologize that this picture is so blurry, but this is the color that I achieved after bleaching the closure and this is a weave um, that she bought from the store that's on the bottom uh, it's a uh, 27 and 30 and usually depending on the length of the customer's hair or client and the style that they want sometimes I order the hair for them or they can just bring in hair so this is just like some 100% human hair as they call it so right now I just put some oil on it. I'm done with the closure and the tracks and I am now getting ready to razor it. And I'm razoring just the outer edge just so that it's not very blunt. It hugs the hair better, uh, the head better, and it prevents it from looking so choppy, um, especially when clients are attempting to style it themselves. Um, it just lays better. They don't have to curl it quite as tight and it looks a lot more natural. So I usually do the right side and then the left side or the left side and then the right side. Just depends. And then I do the back. And that's because if you go straight across from one end to the other, um, sometimes the cut ends up being a little too high in the back. So to refrain from that happening, I actually save the middle or the back for last. And I usually create a little bit of a dip, like a U-shape, especially if the occipital bone protrudes or, you know, they have a little bit of a noggin back there. And I know you may have seen the little white um, elastic band that's around the front. I add some Gotta Be Glue uh, gel right to the hairline of the closure just to secure it. And I tied it down with that band just so it wouldn't lift as I was cutting or manipulating the hair. So right now I'm doing notch cutting, um, very similar to razoring. And this also is to prevent it from looking very chunky so that the cut, cut is a lot more layered. And I noticed that when my clients go in and curl and style the hair themselves, they get better results than if I just do a blunt cut. It kind of leaves room for error. So right now I am flat ironing, nothing spectacular about this just kind of going row for row and again like I said with that notch cutting because sometimes my clients try to use their uh, flat iron and the curls mm, aren't they're not done as well as they would be if they were to use a curling iron so the notch cutting definitely helps with that and so I'm now lining up her hairline just around the edge and the back 
and this is the finished look i apologize that i didn't get any front shots but i definitely want to respect her privacy i hope you can kind of get the gist of the look and what we were going for so very natural very convenient very low maintenance and this is a view from the closure end yeah, but a complete sew-in, no glue necessary. So if you'd like to see more videos like this to come, please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And also, you can follow me on my Instagram page at epitome.of underscore London. Hope to see you soon. Bye, loves.